Welcome everyone. In today's video, I just wanted to talk about optimism and do a quick update on them. So optimism is an Ethereum layer to optimistic rollup. I've spoken about them on this channel before, but effectively it allows you to transact with uh, fast transactions and cheap fees all with Ethereum level security. So basically they just put out a new article today and this is what I wanted to talk about. So they talk about their journey to actually, you know, starting uh, optimism, how far they've come, so on and so forth. You can read this if you like, but this isn't the interesting part of this article. If we scroll all the way down, we'll go to the part where it says a new chapter. So, you know, they say here it's been a few wild years since they started the journey to actually building optimism and the network has grown leaps and bounds, but there is a new chapter coming soon. And so the next chapter is going to be one driven by community ownership and governance. Now, what does that sound like to you? To me, it sounds like they're going to drop a token soon. Now, why would they want to drop a token? We know that uh, people are enticed by token incentives. I mean, basically, people went off to explore all of these other chains because they were paid to do so. There were token incentives there. I think basically Avalanche um, actually launched off of the fact that, um, you know, they, they were giving away a ton of money for people to actually use the chain. And now... Optimism's probably going to do this. Arbitrum's going to do this. All of the other layer twos are probably going to release a token as well to help incentivize usage. Because once people start coming on, you know, there's going to be liquidity that is obviously going to come and go as incentives dry up. But you obviously are going to get some people who are actually going to stay around uh, with the ecosystem. And this is one step towards that. So uh, Optimism is likely to drop a governance token soon. I mean, that's not 100% confirmed. They might do something wacky and actually not uh, give out a token here, but it's most likely that they're, they're going to. And I think at this stage, I think it makes sense to get yourself set up on Optimism, learn the ecosystem, and potentially you might get an airdrop for doing so. Um, that's not something that I'm going to guarantee, and I have no insider knowledge at all, but it obviously just makes sense to actually start using Optimism, start using Arbitrum, start using these other layer twos as well, the ones that don't have tokens in particular. So if you actually want to get it set up and start using Optimism, of course, you're going to need a Metamask as a wallet. I'll leave a link in the description down below to download that. Uh, it's, you know, easy to set up and you're actually going to have to bridge some funds onto the Optimism blockchain itself. So if you go to optimistic.etherscan.io, this is their like block explorer if we scroll down you can press on this add op network part here you click that and it will add optimism to your metamask so if you actually want to bridge funds over to optimism you can use their official bridge at gateway.optimism.io forward slash welcome you connect your metamask wallet here and then it will give you several different options in fact optimism um they point you towards third party bridges as well although i think it makes sense to use their own bridge just you know to potentially qualify for an airdrop if you're stuck on any other evm chain and you want to come directly to optimism instead of having to pay you know expensive e flare one gas fees like i think i paid um about 17 18 dollars to actually bridge funds over to uh, optimism so you can go to life finance i'll leave a link in the description down below and effectively this can take you from uh any other evm chain really i mean it, it doesn't cover all of them but most of the main ones that you are going to have funds on it will cover so polygon bsc gnosis phantom avalanche arbitrum Moon River, Moonbeam, and Celo, and you can bridge your funds over here. And so Life Finance is a bridge aggregator. So this will t take you to the most efficient route and you can decide which route you actually want to take. So there are several routes here. So this one, it will take you 15 minutes and you'll pay a $32 fee. But this one, it will take you eight minutes and you're paying a $34 fee. So you can choose whether or not you want to get there fast or you want to get there slow. And you can, you know, choose basically how much you actually want to end up paying. And so this is if you want to like bridge one ETH. Uh, of course, you can like bridge whatever asset you want here. And they'll also do a token swap for you. So you could, you know, take your die and then bridge ETH over or let's say you're on Polygon and you wanted to swap your Matic into ETH, it will do it for you as well. So that's really cool. And in terms of actually going ahead and using Optimism, uh, I'll probably do a video later on just going over the Optimism you know, DeFi ecosystem. But right now, it's very new. It kind of feels like you know DeFi circa 2019. Um, 
you know, you've got Uniswap, you've got Curve, you've got Synthetics. There isn't a lot there right now. Uh, however, it's going to start, you know, accelerating if particularly if they get a token out there and they start doing any sort of, um, you know, community incentives, then I can see a lot of people starting to port projects over to Optimism and people who are actually just natively building projects for Optimism itself. Now, that's one thing is that um, a lot of people are just forking their projects over to Optimism. However, if developers actually optimize their code, uh, for optimism, you know, fees would go down a lot more. I think Aave like reduced their fees by like 10x purely through just optimizing um, their protocol to be on optimism versus just uh, copy pasting it from Ethereum. So obviously you have synthetic, so that's, um, you know, synthetic assets on the blockchain. Stargate, that's an interesting one. So Stargate, you can provide liquidity in their pools there. And it's basically for people wanting to do cross-chain stuff. Uniswap, you can go ahead and do swaps there or provide liquidity. So this is Uniswap V3. Perpetual Protocol, this is a Perpetual Futures DEX. It's one of the best out there. They have a virtual AMM. I recommend you go ahead and use that. Lyra, so this is Options and it's built on top of Synthetics. Synapse, that's a bridge. So you can provide, provide liquidity in this Synapse bridge uh, and you know earn fees when people bridge uh, assets over. Uh, Seller and Hot Protocol do something similar too. A zip swap is another dex obviously you have curve finance here which is basically in its infancy because you know optimism is so new and so there isn't that many stable assets that uh need swapping between each other polynomial protocol this is an interesting um project that you should definitely try out it doesn't have a token yet so you know keep that in mind i believe they are an options protocol that is built on top of uniswap v3 clipper so this is a it's a DEX, but it focuses on being um, a DEX for like smaller traders. So, you know, definitely go ahead and check that out as well. And, you know, there are plenty of other uh, DeFi protocols here on Optimism. And so if we just look at the TVL chart every time, we can see in the past month, you know, we broke out of this range and we've hit, you know, near all time highs for TVL locked up in Optimism. And if you think about it, the total crypto market cap, you know, has declined for the last month overall. And so it's impressive that funds have actually flowed into Optimism. And that really gives me a signal that perhaps something, you know, big is going on. So definitely make sure to get set up on Optimism. Thank you for watching and make sure to subscribe for more videos like this one.